a new sheet, new format. Um, IT, you sure think it's correct? I'm just going to stick to the last there, which is the other house. Uh, we're getting to that. So, anyways, uh, you guys, Wellington Heights is kind of on the far right hand column, and I just want to remind you, comparing 2015 against 2016, starting January 1st, and this one's going through July 31st. This is about eight, eight days ago. By pause, I'm listening to what they're talking about. Uh, so, I just want to, I know this will come up, so let's just talk, quick talk about it. Going across on the neighborhoods on the top, you'll see that there's a category called, a neighborhood called Northwest, obviously. Um, one next to that is called Not in a Neighborhood. That makes that a little bit more clear about a lot of the city is not in the neighborhood association, so we capture that now too. So that's what that column means. The rest of the city that's not in an association. Uh, some people have asked me what, what's Ellis and what's Northwest. Ellis, they're going to relabel that for me also. Um, it's Ellis and Boat Harbor, the Harbor Association. And then the Northwest neighborhood, you guys, is mine also. And that's the post at Ellis Road area uh, by the old W around in there. So that's the difference there. Wellington Heights is on the kind of the far right column. Uh, you'll see. There's a front and the back to yours too. Um, IET felt it was important on that very last category to include XY missing, XY important missing. All the addresses are our chief guests located here at Cedar Rapids with our CAD system, which is probably one of the best CAD systems you can buy, period. But sometimes when a 911 call comes in, it comes in between houses or it's not geolocated quite right. So unfortunately, the system says, well, wait a minute, this isn't even an address. The system is kind of like too smart for its own good. So unfortunately, we get some of those that are missing X, Y coordinates. It doesn't mean we don't know where to go. The CAT system just is not saying, hey, that's 1600 Fourth Avenue. It's between houses and doors. It's in and out. Okay? That's what that means. And unfortunately, there's decent number of those if you look through them. across the city. So, okay, but let's get down to ours, you guys. Wellington Heights. Um, I want to skip down to so the crimes are going down the left hand column. And I have a sheet that's broken down into really specific ones, but it would have been easier packed to be five pages. So I just <laughs> we'll just do it in a nutshell, you guys. But the assaults are 72 and 72. However, the aggravated assaults, which is a more serious assault, we had 21 last year. This year we only have 13. So that's going down. Um, but our simple assaults are up um, by about 9. So there's the difference. So you do, it looks like it's even, but we have, our major assaults are down and our simple assaults are up. Just and if anyone wants the full breakout, just email me and I'll send it to you. Because it's easier to send than print. Uh, I want to talk about the next one down, burglaries. So we're up here, you guys, from 42 to 58 this year. So I want to get Justin and put some crime prevention tips to get into the one of the nice newsletter. Because we need to work on that. We're wrong. Get the names wrong. Rob, I'd like to do that on two, two things I've seen in here so far this year. Let's see if we can get that down to be below our 15 number. Okay, so we're, we're running up on, on burglaries. And that's when somebody enters the garage, the shed, the house, and they take something from you. Uh, I'd like to skip down to fraud. See that? Okay, fraud 
it appears like nine last year, ten this year, okay? Well, the problem is we have one credit card case last year in Wellington Heights. This year we have seven. So uh, that's up. I want to make sure you guys are protecting your financial information. Sometimes they don't need your physical credit card to run this. Make sure you're doing the right thing. There's lots of tips on the internet, on the internet about safeguarding your credit cards. Okay. Uh, groupie offenses. That's a common question with this new format, and I do really like this new format. Groupie offenses, and I'll just keep saying it, and eventually get it. But it's things like bad checks, curfew, uh, disorderly conduct, drunk driving, public intox. There's nine of them. Uh, some liquor, other liquor violations, and trespassing. So we just thought we would label, combine all those things into a group B's, all, all fairly minor. They're not insignificant, but they're minor. So we, and that's how the FBI wants us to report our data, so we're reporting apples to apples. And we don't have to go through a bunch of reclassifying and doing all that when we report our stats to the FBI. This is much more efficient to keep it in the same format as the FBI wants, which is, is uh, not flexible. Right? And the, U the FBI, is, it's called the Uniform Crime Report. Um, I would like to go to theft. 78 down to 60. That's good. It's a very common crime. Um, theft from motor vehicles. So somebody breaches in and takes a checkbook or your radar detector. We're doing great. We had 13 last year, we've only had four so far in Wellington Heights. So keep up the good work there. You seem to be locking your cars, hiding your valuables, taking your purses out. So keep doing that. The one we need to work on along with burglaries and adjusting our tips, or robbing our tips, can kind of go hand in hand. Stolen cars. Nine last year, 13 this year. 13 sold cars from on the So we got to put the keys in our cars. Because I guarantee that's 75% of them. Guarantee. Robberies. That's when someone is bank robbery. They point a gun at you and take the money. Or they, another common robbery is they, they beat you up and they take your wallet and they beat you up and they take your cell phone. I'm not trying to freak anyone out, but that's a robbery. They assault you or they take some. Um, last year we had 12, this year 9. Okay. It, it seems to never fail that <clears throat> intoxicated co-students will come back this fall and somebody will get beat up on their cell phone. Day. It happens, seems like, every fall. So I'm meeting with Cole on Wednesday. We're going to go through some safety tips like they do every year, talk to the college. Most of them are the college administrators, but give them our safety tips, tell them how our summer's going, get them started on the right foot, and they come back to school, which is in about 10 days. If somebody beats somebody up and then takes their wallet, is that two separate crimes, assault and property? Sometimes the county attorney will file them as an assault and a theft. We generally will classify it as a robbery. And county you attorney might get an assault charge against them then. Yeah, county attorney will sometimes change it over to an assault and a theft. Yeah. But it's pretty simple, Gary, in my book. That's a robbery. You assault somebody, you take something. The county attorney, they have to prove that. And that's sometimes easier said than uh, not quite as easy as I say it. Uh, last one, you guys, is. Uh, Weapons, which can be guns or knives, those are out from 6 to 19. So, that most of guns. Um, there's a fair number of guns. I need to look into that a little more. I just printed this off at 430, so I want to do some research on what 19 were. How many were guns? How many were just overlength knives? How many were BB guns that we took on the kids, et cetera? Thanks, look at it. A whole bunch of stuff. Thanks to that guy who's on uh, Fifth Avenue, the federal weapons charges, or he had a bunch of, uh, uh, he, he, he's doing a federal bid for, for a whole bunch of guns that he had. Is that part of the reason I don't know, maybe I, one person with multiple guns? I 
it, it will include multiples, but I don't know about that specific case. Fifth Avenue? Yeah, it was a say something about the, the online resource or information like this that you supply. My recollection is that it's kept up, it's regular up to date. You can go look at it, you can download it. Yeah, so this form, when we get it perfect, we're going to put it on the internet, on the PD website, and you can go to it and look at it and pull your own days, weeks, months of data, comparing it to 2016 or the year before. Uh, we also run it in a, we run in a fiscal year. You know, a city government works July 1st to June 30th. We found that also was helpful for us. So when this is done, and it's 99% done, we're very close. They just got to add up now. And then they're going to put it out. Yep. So is it going to only go back two years, or can we go back to like 98? Or now, for now, it's just one year, compared to the year before. So that we can see how much things have really changed. I have a lot of that data. Yeah. If you wanted to just, I had to take it before. Yeah, I would like to see that. If you want to shoot me something. I think that would be good for the association to kind of see. You know, and you remember when I gave you guys your five and six year? Yeah. Right? Because that's yeah. very important to see yeah. how we're doing over long term. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Things don't change your mind. I think we all know that. Right. Yes. Wondering whether you could comment on what was happening last night around the Lincoln Heights because there was lots of sirens and squealing tires and it almost sounded like uh, a police chase was going on. Because we could hear it over on 3rd Avenue where I'm at and I got a 10 to mine over on 5th and 16th. That's what that hit the same thing. Yeah. That was the police chief. The police chief. Yeah. Did he get the guy? Can't tell you. Or you have to kill you.
far too dangerous for us to face. And the guy ended up crashing at home by Green Square Park where he hit, a, hit another car, hurt somebody, and we caught him. That case is almost done. In case you heard about that one too. Yeah. Bad deal. That's why we don't chase.